Captain Jack here, and the Nintendo 64 doesn't have nearly as many hacks as, say, the Sega Genesis or NES, but the ones it does have are monumental, and the 64 hacking scene has grown significantly in recent years. As always, let me know of any hacks you'd like to see in a follow-up video, but let's get right into it. Starting out with a game that never gets enough praise, F-Zero X has a great hack in F-Zero X Climax. This is basically a remake of the Japanese exclusive Game Boy Advance title, F-Zero Climax, which means there is a complete completely changed track set here that takes inspiration from the GBA title. But F-Zero X Climax is a lot more than just some new textures and imported track layouts. It adds a lot of three-dimensional elements to the tracks, as that simply wasn't possible in the original. The tracks are much longer to compensate for how fast F-Zero X is. Speaking of the speed, by far the biggest flaw in this hack is the difficulty. It doesn't matter how perfect your run is, the AI opponents will just fly right by you. And unless you're especially good at the game, you're gonna end in dead last. Not that it really matters though, I mean the speed and the mechanics of the base F-Zero X are so fun in and of itself that driving is a thrill even in a bad placing. But maybe this is a multiplayer hack only. Super Mario Star Road is probably the most well-known N64 hack, and for good reason. This hack of Super Mario 64 has a newly designed hub that contains a fresh set of 30 levels with 120 stars within them. Being more than 10 years old, Super Mario Star Road's reputation precedes itself, but it's all warranted. The new levels are some of the best designed you'll see in a ROM hack, period and perfectly balanced new ideas with remixed old ones. Combine this with the brand new models and textures and you'll have locales that play good and look amazing too. From environments that would have looked right at home in the original game to ones that are a little bit out there. The soundtrack is also surprisingly good and contains remixes of several Mario and non-Mario related songs. The Koopa Race uses Mario Kart music now and it caught me off guard at first but it actually fits pretty well. Super Mario Star Road really captures that elusive Nintendo essence in level creation, and the new mechanics and slightly raised difficulty really does make it feel like a spiritual successor to Super Mario 64. And it might almost be worthy of that title. Hey, that's a big compliment. The GoldenEye Compilation Pack is a collection of custom missions that replaces all the levels in the original GoldenEye 007. This means 12 new single player levels and 9 new multiplayer maps. Now they aren't all the same quality, but standouts include the island and garden levels. A great advantage of map packs like these is that each level feels distinct because they were all made by different people, and a lot of the maps do a good job showcasing the individual skills of each mapper. There are a lot of unique moments here, from a frozen ice base to sneaking around a library. The GoldenEye compilation pack has tons of high octane action that almost makes up for this game never getting a sequel. Not really. Still want Gold Knight 2. I thought I'd go a little bit out of left field for this one. Star Fox 64 Survival takes Ocarina of Time and turns it into a Star Fox game. The story here is that Fox crashed his R-Wing on an unknown planet and now has to face off against enemies for 30 days in order to escape. But you don't just get stuck with nothing. After defeating the set of enemies for the day, you'll get a random item. And a rest area between days lets you heal and buy even more items from NPCs. It's a bit odd compared to other Zelda hacks, but its quality is completely up to par. The Star Fox model and replacement sounds work perfectly, and the music has been replaced by Star Fox music and it's unexpectedly high quality. Check it out. The higher fidelity here than almost anything on the Nintendo 64 is probably because it's not a MIDI file, which would make sense as larger music files can be used since Survival's game map is very, very small. Instead of simply offering more of its host game like many other hacks, Star Fox 64 Survival transforms Ocarina of Time into a completely different type of game, and it's worth a try just because of that. The original Smash Bros is an odd duck. Because of the crazy amount of improvements Melee brought to the series, the debut title kind of feels like a black sheep in retrospect. Side specials, charging smash attacks, air dodges, up and down throws are just a few of the things missing from the 64 game. Combining this with the over-the-top combo game, high hit stun, and the metric 
ton of glitches, it all makes Smash 64 feel very different from the later games in the series, which just makes this game more interesting. There is so much space between the original and Melee onwards that wondering what a character introduced later on would look like in Smash 64 becomes a legitimate hard to answer question. That's what makes Smash Remix so great. Smash Remix is one of the rare few hacks that makes its host game impossible to go back to without it. At the time of writing, there are 14 new characters added, which more than doubles the original roster. And they span from all over. Clones that were probably easier to implement, complete new characters from later games, even characters never seen before in a Smash game, like Conker or Mad Piano. The lineup is crazy here. There are dozens of new stages added as well, and they're not all designed for competitive play. There are plenty with funky stage hazards. That would be enough to put Smash Remix at the top, but no, there's still way more. All-Star Mode, the Home Run minigame, a brand new 12-character battle mode that has you pick a dozen fighters to face off against your opponent. Even special versions of characters are allowed, which lets you do this. Smash Remix is my personal favorite Nintendo 64 hack. It's insane the amount of effort put in here. If there's just one hack on this list you check out, have it be this one. Unless you don't like fighting games, I can't help you there.